Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rush. Uh, I got a hilarious story to tell you. I've been blocked by Sean Ranjing, the quote-unquote producer of NHL 15. Uh, I, I use that term really loosely because I don't know what the fuck he produced besides the mediocre game that we all really wanted to be good. Um, so yeah, I get I got banned by him on Twitter yesterday. I, I don't know, or actually maybe early in the week. I go back to find out what I said. It was the last two things I tweeted at him were like Tuesday, Wednesday. And uh, it was the uh, NHL meme that was put up about uh, what modes are missing in the EA Sports Hockey League and all this other stuff that are not in the game and not coming to the game. And uh, but I'm sure as hell glad that I can see the hot dog vendor in the 400th level, which is a good point. I mean, you know, you're going to brag about, oh, yeah, the crowd looks great and this and this and that and the graphics and all this other stuff. And then you take out all our favorite modes to give credit to the puck expect us to be fucking happy. You know, like, fuck you, you know. And then I also mentioned, like, why why don't I get response? You know, why don't I get responded to? My $70 not as good as somebody else's $70? And I spent $70 on this fucking game, plus the stupid cards I buy. Which I really shouldn't waste some money. But, I mean, I bought every single game since NHL 07. We're talking about eight, nine games in a row. And this is the way I get repaid if I get blocked by the, the producer of the game. You know, I mean, we're frustrated at this game. You put this shitty game out, and if you're going to just ignore the people that are going to criticize it, I hate people that ignore legitimate criticism. You put out a product, and you need to know, like, why it's bad, and why we're frustrated at it. And just block people is just a shitty, damage control, lazy way out, and it makes me want to see you get fired. It makes me join the rest of the crew and saying, hey, you know, fire Rammer, you know, hashtag fire Rammer. You know, we're fucking fed up with it. And, you know, you think about these other next-gen games. This is another reason for it. It's disappointing. is the fact that this game only has two players online. GTA 5 is coming in November, November 18th. That went from 16 players on 360 to 30. They added 14 players online. That's pretty fucking awesome. Then Battlefield last gen was 32 players. Battlefield 4 this gen is 64. They added, they doubled it. So what does hockey do? Hockey just they go from 12 to 2, and we're supposed to be fucking happy with that. Like, you know what? Fuck you. This game is trash, and you you should just apologize. I can't believe they even get the cash to check on this fucking game. I'm just I'm just shocked. This game is it should have been delayed. I mean, they delayed the NBA CBA game. They delayed the 2K sports um, fucking wrestling game. They don't delay from their own end. hockey game because, you know, they should, but they didn't. And it just, it's just mind-boggling that they put it out without features like three stars of the game. And what I can't stand is Rammer's fucking damage control. So maybe it's a good thing that he blocked me because I'm tired of reading his shit. I just find it disrespectful to a loyal fan that they would do that. But I am a, not a fan of his damage control and, like, the stupid letter he put out three weeks before the game came out telling us which goals are not in the game. Which is a fucking joke. Can you imagine if Call of Duty did that three weeks before the game came out? Every week I see them, and whether you like Call of Duty anymore or not, uh, every every week I see them coming out with a new mode. Like, oh, this is going to be in the game. This is going to be in the game. What do we get? We get two weeks where we ask questions all the time. They ignore us, and then we get the stupid damage control letter. Which basically says, oh, yeah, we're on this journey with you. No, fuck you. We fucked up. Let me translate it for you. We fucked up. We still want you to buy the game, though. Your modes might come back next year. That's what basically it means. And I can't stand his damage control question answers that he gets. He was questioned about the resolution and frame rate. And he answered the question about the frame rate. Because that's a positive answer. That's 60 frames per second. But he didn't answer the question about resolution because that's a negative answer. Not 1080p. Because if it was 1080p, he would just answer the fucking question. And then the Hockey Ultimate Team thing, you know, when people ask, like, oh, how come we can't play a friend in that? Oh, yeah, people didn't play that mode very much. Well, people played EA Sports Hockey League a fuckload in or online team play, but you took those modes out. So, I mean, you're going to justify taking modes out because people didn't play them. Well, you took out all the other modes, the Hockey Ultimate Team playing a friend would have been very valuable considering you took all the other shit out. So that's just my take on fucking Rammer banning me, and I think it's pretty shitty. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if you think he should get fired, or, uh, I mean, just in general for how bad he did with NHL 15. Uh, if you actually shot this game out, or what your problems are with the game, because there are plenty. Uh, that's the damn sure. So, look, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave me a comment, let me up on Twitter, and everyone have a great week. Take care, bye.